Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I am back today and I'm going to make one of the paper flowers I have on my wall. I had a request for this. Um, I'm going to quickly show you what the one I have on my wall looks like. And I'm going to make a smaller version of this. This is the sunflower that I made. So we're going to do a little bit smaller version. So let me get you back over here and we'll get started. Okay, so I had made that yellow sunflower, I don't know, about a year ago and I hung it on my wall. Um, but I had utilized my Cricut to cut out the petals and not everybody has a cutting machine. So I figured out how I can do it without a cutting machine. So what I did is I took my, my paper and you need to use 12 by 12s and I cut each one of them at two inches. So I'm gonna cut this whole page and I've already cut quite a few, but I'm cutting them at two inches. So that means you're gonna get six out of here. Six and then we're gonna cut them in half because we're making one that's a little bit smaller. over 100 degrees here in Texas today. Me and my grandson, we went, we have a community pool in our neighborhood, so we went there. Oh, it was so nice. We were the only ones there for a while. It was just nice. My grandson just splashed around. He is having such a good time. He didn't want to leave, but after two hours, I wanted to make sure he had some lunch, so I had to pull him out of the pool. Okay, so I've cut my strips and I'm gonna take my scoreboard because on the flower I had put creases down the center of each one. So I'm gonna take my scoreboard and I'm gonna score it at one inch. So I'm just scoring it in half. I might not be cutting enough petals and I might not I might have too much we'll see how it goes um, I don't really count to see how many I have because I like my flowers when I'm making the petals like this I want it to be really full okay so I've scored them all and then what I did is I just took like two or three of them and I just fold them in half because these are going to be six inch and then I just took my scissors and cut them in half. That way I only had to score it once instead of twice. Now, go ahead and fold them in half and this has got two together. Fold them in half and you're gonna take it and you're gonna cut them at an angle, kind of like I did these. So cut it at an angle to kind of go up to the point. So they'll end up like that. much easier than having to cut individual. Just cut them. Just cut them a couple at a time. Gonna cut these in half. Since I'm doing six inch. Fold it in half. Start about an inch and a half down. Kind of cut it at an angle. Couple more. Now, let's go ahead and fold it in half so we can get that crease. Okay, two more. Okay, so this is how you can do it without a cutting machine to make your petals like this. Okay. So the next thing that we're gonna do, got all my petals, and some of them I'm gonna have to cut down. But now what you need to do is you need to start with a circle, and I just use my scallop circle punch. This is a three inch, and I just cut it out. Actually, let me look to see if I have one that maybe is a little larger. 
I do, I do. I think this one is like a four inch. Let's use this one. Gives us a little bit more space. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you've already got the creases in there, which is great, and you're gonna just start and you're gonna put your flowers, you're gonna put your petals like in about an inch. You can put it all the way to the edge, but I like to put them in at about an inch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take glue, using a little bit different glue glue stick today, so I don't have a glue gun, so we'll see how this one works, because I haven't went and bought another one yet. Okay, so you're gonna put glue on the outside. Now I made my yellow one last year, and my granddaughter, I went and said, I wanna help, I wanna help. Sure, I'll let her help until she burned herself and that was it. She was done. She didn't want to help me no more. I don't know. Okay. So I'm just going to try to keep it at try to keep it at a good distance between each other. Okay? And then I'm going to work my way around. Y'all, making flowers is so easy. I've seen a lot of people like on Instagram that make flowers for a living and they make the most beautiful, beautiful creations. These very talented people. Okay. And I just kind of made this one up one day. So this is just a made up creation, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna make our way around and then we're gonna keep filling it in. Make sure you're putting glue on the side that is pointed outward. Because I like, well, you can do either way, but I kind of like my, um, I like my petals where they're, when they're, the fold is pointed upward. The inside, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. And a lot of really nice comments again today. Oh my goodness, such wonderful people y'all are. Wonderful, wonderful people. Okay, almost got the first little row. Now, if you're doing a big one like the, the sunflower that I did, it took me a long time to make that. Um, but yeah, you need a lot of petals. I'm gonna kind of keep this one where it's kind of angled and put one more here. It's kind of looking all funky right now. But don't worry. It's gonna end up looking good because you're working on it. Okay, so we've got our base. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep taking our petals and we're gonna start filling them in. And make sure you start by overlapping so you're filling in these holes, okay? You don't wanna, you don't want it to be where you're having little spots because flowers don't always have it. See how it's starting to overlap? And by the way, this is a sunflower shape, but it's purple, but you know what? In your craft room, you can make your flowers any color you want. So, you know what I did? I, my parents live in assisted living. I'll go see them again next weekend. But um, they live in East Texas. So they live, oh, about an hour and a half from me. And I like to decorate my mom and dad's doors and all that. It just makes it fun and festive. And so I started making paper flowers and I decorated all around my mom's door with flowers. And the people that work there, they even started saying, I want some of those flowers. So the flowers, the flowers are starting to fade, so I'm gonna have to think of something new to put around my mom's door. Maybe I'll decorate it for fall or something. My dad, his is, just says man cave on it. It kind of made it manly. He doesn't totally care, and my mom loves her flowers, but I don't. I like it to make sure they're not fading as well, so. Yeah, she liked. She loved them so much. 
Okay, as you see, it's already kind of three-dimensional. It's coming to shape, so that's what you want. As you're going in, you can make your flowers a little bit shorter, or your petals. That way it kind of, kind of starts making it look smaller and smaller. But I'm gonna keep going to see how this how this looks. And y'all see how fast this is? So fast, so fast, so, so fast. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep filling it in all the way around. Do another row. And you can start making your petals go in a little bit more toward the center. And that makes it look like it's the petals are going to start being shorter as well. So just put them a little bit closer in. I hope I need to make that one over a little bit. I love this already. Mm -mm. I also made some flowers for a, one, a lady, the, the very sweet friend of ours. We've known their, her and her family for such a long time but for her mother's birthday, and I don't really know, I, I'm not sure if it was her mother's 80th birthday or something like that, but she asked me to make flowers for the decorations and they made the flowers and put them behind the, put them behind the cake table. Turned out wonderful, she said. She really, really liked them. So, and she did all hers in like pinks. So, you know, with pink, I was in hawk heaven. So I love pink. Okay, I love this already. It's starting to take shape. It looks wonderful. I'm just gonna keep going. So what are y'all doing in your craft room today? It's Saturday, um, August 20, what's today? 20, 25th? Oh my, already. Summer's almost over. But what are y'all doing in your craft rooms? Are you guys out with your families? Or are you making something awesome what are you doing today leave me a comment below and let me know what's going on i didn't touch my crafts until i didn't touch my craft room until now because i got two of my grandkids are still here they won't go home till tomorrow so after we go to church in the morning they will they will go home and then i'll be working in my craft room all afternoon Got a pot roast to put in my crock pot, and yeah, it'll be good. And my husband is from the Philippines, and he loves rice, so it's so easy. I can make pot roast in my crock pot, and I can make rice and call it a day. Just make a little vegetable on the side, and dinner is good. I can't. I like that kind. Now tonight. I don't know, do y'all ever use the Rhodes Rolls? I know I'm rambling on today, but you know, I know this is kind of long just watching these petals. Um, but the I, yeah, I like to buy the Rhodes Rolls if you can buy them in your grocery store. They come in the freezer section. And oh my goodness, those rolls are so good. I've got some out there rising right now because I'm gonna make some stuffed pasta shells for dinner. When I have my grandkids over, I try to think of things I know that kids are gonna enjoy. and. What kid doesn't love pasta? So if y'all want that recipe, let me know. I think I found it on the internet one day and it was a winner. So it's really yummy. Okay, I think these are a little bit lighter, but I'm just gonna go with it and call it, call it good. I'm not gonna worry about it because all flowers can have different colors. I'm gonna have to cut myself some more petals. Okay, so you're, what you're doing still is you're still overlapping. You're overlapping to make this three-dimensional. Since this is a different purple, I'm going to keep going all the way around with these. That way then the purple kind of keeps keeps going in the shape here or stays in here. It's kind of like almost what it might almost be like an ombre or something when you're putting different shades of purple or different shades of any color. So... I'm gonna keep going. I think I've got one more after this one of this color, and then I'm gonna have to quickly cut some more. But I really love how this is all coming out. It's turning out very, very nicely. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna do like that. Now I need to cut myself some more, but as you see what it's gonna come out with. And I do have a couple that are a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and use those here too. I had to cut, I cut these down a little bit. But let's just use them, they'll work. So yeah, what are you guys doing in your craft room today? And what are you making for dinner? Um, we have a new Texas Roadhouse that opened up down the street from us. We'll be going there soon. I love Texas Roadhouse. Okay, so I only had three there. I'm going to cut myself a few more. So let me move this out of the way. Cut myself another page or so. Yeah, that'll be fine. So, yep. Today it's so hot in Texas. We're like, we don't even really want to leave the house. I ran to Walmart to pick up cream cheese because my stuffed pasta shells calls for Philadelphia cream cheese. And so, and it needs to have the onion and chive, onion and chive flavor. And I had cream cheese, but none of that flavor. And you know what? It makes a huge difference in that recipe if you don't, if you don't use that kind. So I had to run to Walmart, but that was it. I took my grandson swimming, and that's it. I we went there. I got my sheets washing. So a nice clean bed to sleep in tonight. And, yep. My granddaughter, she hadn't got to go swimming yet, so my grandson wants to go again. So I told my husband, well, I took him this morning. You're taking her. <laughs> so... He will take them later. Well, maybe I can get some work done in here. Because our weekends, I'm not a child, but our weekends get so busy. And, um... Usually I'm either taking care of my grandkids or going, which I love, or going down to visit my parents. And, uh, yeah, I love that too. Let's see. So today, I didn't, have, I didn't go down. I, my sister and I, we kind of take turns going to make sure they're doing okay. So, about every other week I go down and take care of them. And then every other week my grandkids are over. And, yeah, your life is so busy. Okay, we're getting close to the end, y'all. I think we're going to, this is going to look pretty good. And then I'll show you how I'm going to finish up the center. Okay, so I've got my folds. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to cut these down a little bit shorter since they're toward the middle. And you can just eyeball it. A lot of paper in that one. Trying to cut corners. And I went to Walmart a while ago and they had their fusible Pellon batting on sale for $3 a yard. I grabbed the bolt and I told the lady, how many yards is on here? She says, I don't know, about 12. And I said, okay, give me nine. And it ended up being exactly nine. So y'all, grab my, grab my batting so I could start cutting to make those bowl cozies for the craft fair. That, I think, is going to be my task for tomorrow. Start getting those ready. Okay, it's a little bit different purple, but it's all good. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to finish these all up, and then we'll worry about the center. And just overlap them. And don't worry about what it looks like in the middle, because I'm going to put another circle over that. That's going to be just fine. If you make one as big as like my sunflower, you gotta be patient because that one took a lot of paper. And you know, I didn't cut it like this, just cutting two inch strips. I used my Cricut and it, it takes longer because you're having to keep loading and all that. So it's actually this way to make this kind of flower when you're making it a like a dimensional flower like this. This way is actually pretty fast, I like it. Okay y'all, I'm gonna quit rambling on. But let's see here. Coming to the end, and then I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a circle. You'll see how the dimensions. Isn't that pretty? I've got four more. We might as well use them. Four more. Let's use them up.
try to, oops, I almost got that one on the wrong side with that glue. And I'll put this one over here. I might need this a few more because I want to make sure it looks like they're all in a row. I think I need to cut myself one or two more little strips. So let me grab some. And I'm cutting it at two inch again. Get there, my husband and my granddaughter, and they're watching boxing. Or some kind of some kind of YouTube fight went on today. And they waited for hours for that. It was my granddaughter that's 12 now. They wanted to watch it. She conned her papa into paying ten dollars just to rent it. And it was, I think it was through YouTube. I don't really know. <sighs> but they sure have had fun. I don't really care about that stuff. I'd rather be in here, but I I spent more time with my grandson. So do y'all do y'all have grandkids? And if you do, do they get a certain age where they don't want to hug you anymore? Because let me tell you, my grandson is always my boy. I'm gonna cut these down a little bit shorter. But he doesn't want to hug me as much. He's nine. I'm like, you gotta always hug your moggy. But he'll hug me like really fast and instead of like he used to be like so proud I'm like you're growing up okay y'all this flower looking pretty snazzy i like it okay two more okay wonderful wonderful beautiful okay okay you see how I made those a little bit shorter toward the center now I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a you can see all the dimensions how it is even though I had the different color purples in there it turned out all good okay so so what I'm gonna do for the middle is I'm gonna take my purple circle that I had and I'm gonna put it over the top and then I'm gonna make myself a little center for the to, that comes out the top so I'm gonna glue this one on Stick it down the middle just to cover up the ugliness. Because, you know, after you've glued it on and all that, they're all kind of funky looking. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay. And you can take some of the petals and kind of bend them and, since they're in half. When you bend them up like that, it makes them like look more pointy. And it gives it more dimension, even, you know, even more dimension. So, so that's what I'm doing. And you could see, I could really see a difference by me doing this. These are great decorations. If you wanted to decorate your craft booth with flowers, wouldn't that be so pretty? I just... You can make flowers going around, and that is a, a, an idea. I'm, I might think of that. Okay, so you can see now how it looks. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now I'm gonna make a center. Now, normally what I do, and let me grab, I think I'm gonna use a light purple. Let me see what I've got here. Normally what I do is I cut my centers out on my Cricut, but I'm trying not to do that this time because I want everyone to be able to make this project so um, I only have one of this light colored purple and I think it'll look really good let's see how far I can go with this one okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my I'm gonna cut these in let's see I'm gonna do I'm gonna do three inch strips. So I've got my cutting, cutting my uh, paper cutter here and I'm gonna cut, it, cut them at three inches. Now, sometimes when I make these, I fold the paper in half 
And actually, we could also do that this way as well. Okay, so you're getting, getting four. So we want to have a good, thick, full center. So you can cut, you can fold them in half if you like. And four. let's do it that way. I move my flower over. I love the flower. It turned out nice. Okay. I'm gonna score these at two. I'm gonna score these at one and a half inch because they're three inches. That way I can fold them in half and I get a good crease. Sometimes when I make the flowers, I will cut. I'll cut this on my Cricut just for the centers, and that way it makes a nice curly looking center. And I'll I'll actually show you what I mean on that. Let me grab the one I've got on my wall. I can get it off. Okay. This is what I mean. See how it's curly looking? But the one we're going to do is going to be kind of, these are going to be more flat. So, but that one I did on my Cricut. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take these and fold them in half. And there should be, you got four strips here that will make a nice thick center, which is what you want, which is what I do. I like it to be very thick. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to get your scissors. And you're going to take it and you're going to fold it. You could go ahead and you could, you could glue it. And actually, where's my tape runner? I'm gonna, instead of hot gluing this one, I'm going to take my tape runner so I can hold these down. is not too long for y'all. I'm trying to make it faster. Flowers take a little bit longer in time. Okay, so make sure you get these folded in half where you've got your tape. Oh, I got that one almost stuck together. Okay, so you fold them in half. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut, you're going to try to cut quarter inch or so strips all the way down and you're going to cut all of your strips like this oh and look what I did I'm gonna have to cut that one off not cool don't do that y'all okay stop when you can don't get all happy like me if you had some of those they're called herb scissors. They like make fringe. You could use that as well. Or if you have a Cricut on your design space, you could make yourself a template that just cuts out the centers like this. And that makes them even more thin, which is normally what I prefer. But I wanted to make sure that if you didn't have a cutting machine, you could still make this flower So, okay. Okay, so I am gonna finish cutting the other three strips and then I will show you what we're gonna do next. I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, so I've got my four strips cut and what I'm gonna do is I am going to take it and I'm gonna just start curling it. So you want to have your glue gun really close. You can, we're going to make it, it's going to kind of look like this. This one I made last night out of felt. My husband and my grandson were asleep. My granddaughter was watching something on her phone. And so I came in here and I started making that. So I thought, well, let me go ahead and just do this flower. Because I've had several people ask me about how to make this that flower when they saw my craft room tour. So... I'm going to take it and put a little strip of glue and I'm going to start rolling it up. Try to keep the bottom as even as you can. Keep rolling. Okay. 
and just keep rolling until we get all four of these strips to all four of these strips glued. Okay, so it's starting to look like this. And when we're done, we're gonna fluff that out. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna overlap and I'm gonna add the next strip. Okay. You can just keep adding it around in the circle and just there we go it's getting bigger and bigger you can do as many of these strips as you want it depends how big you want your center It's starting to look like this. We're going to smush it all out and fluff it out once we get this all on here. Okay, now we're going to add the next strip. Just going to keep going. this strip and then we'll be to the end and it's gotten bigger last one add your glue and start your strip the glue is all the way down to the end y'all almost to the end okay so there I could probably add probably a couple more if I wanted to make it even bigger than that but let's just see how this one's gonna look so make sure you hold it together you want to make sure that glue is hardened and you're gonna take it and you're gonna push all these down like this to make our center. Just kind of fold them down. You can make it bigger and bigger if you want. So it's looking good. Just gotta keep playing with it. Okay, we're gonna put it in the center. That's gonna be the center of our flower. And then y'all will be done. Let me grab a glue stick, get it in my glue gun. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna add a lot of glue. This glue stick, there it goes. It didn't wanna go in for me there. Okay, I'm gonna push it in and it add a ton of glue because the center kind of gets heavy with all these layers of paper so you want to make sure you have ample glue I'm gonna add just one more little bit on the outside 
And we hit it here as well. Center it in the center. Press it down. And this, my friends, is how I made my gigantic sunflower, but a little bit smaller. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that so pretty? Make some of these. They are so easy, so fun. And look how rewarding. Just cutting up paper strips and folding them ends up looking like a beautiful, beautiful three-dimensional flower. And that is how I made my sunflower. So, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I think it turned out great. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you'll give it a try. So, I guess, until my next video, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.